In the last lecture, we learned what is an observable and how to create an observable. We have learned that an observable is used to handle asynchronous data. We also learned that an observable emits some data. Now, when we are working with asynchronous data, there might be some error which can occur when handling an asynchronous data. Also, when we use observable to handle a stream of asynchronous data, an observable can also emit a signal which tells that the observable is done emitting all the data from that data stream. So in this lecture, you will learn how to handle an error emitted by an observable. And you will also learn how to execute some logic when the observable has emitted completion signal. We created this observable in our last lecture. And currently, this observable is emitting these five data. And it is emitting it one after the other. So basically, here we are streaming the data. First, this value will be emitted from the observable. Then this value will be emitted from the observable then this value will be emitted from the observable and so on. And since we have subscribed to this observable at this line and to this subscribe method, we have passed this callback function. In the last lecture, we learned that the first callback function which we pass to this subscribe method, it is a handler function for the data which the observable emits. So when we are calling this next method, this observable is going to emit a next event. And when that next event will be emitted, we are listening to that event by subscribing to that observable. So whenever the next event will be emitted, we are handling that next event by calling this first callback function. And in this callback function, we are also going to receive the value which the observable has emitted by calling this next method. Now, as we learned, when working with asynchronous data, an observable can also emit an error. And to emit an error, we use error method. So when we want to emit some data, then we use the next method. But when we want to emit an error, we use error method. So let me go ahead and let me copy this line and let me paste it here. And what we want is after three seconds, when this data one, two and three has been emitted, after that, we want to emit an error manually. For that, we are going to call the error method on the observer. and from this error method, we can return an error. So here we don't want to return any data. Instead, we want to return an error. For that, we are going to create an object of error class like this. So now when we have subscribed to this observable, first it is going to return one, then it will return two after two seconds, then it will return three after three seconds. And after that, it is also going to return this error object. Now here, let's go ahead and let's specify a custom error message for this error object. So here, let's say something went wrong. Please try again later. Okay. So first, this value one will be emitted by this observable. Then this value two will be emitted by the observable. Then this value three will be emitted by the observable. And then this error will be emitted by the observable. And after that, we also have these two values which we want to emit from the observable using this next method. But once the error has occurred, after that, an observable cannot emit any more value. Keep this point in mind. Once the observable has emitted an error, after that, it cannot emit any other value. So in this case, after this error will be emitted from this observable, this value 4 and 5, it will not get emitted. Let's see that in action. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page, let the page load and let's click on this get data button. So you see one is emitted, two is emitted, three is emitted. But after that, we are not seeing four and five. And if I open developer console, you will see that here we have an error and the error message is something went wrong. Please try again later. So now from this observable, we are also emitting an error. But currently, we are not handling this error. That's why in the console, we can see this error message. But it is not always good to show these kind of error messages to the user. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to handle this error, the error which this observable has emitted. So in the last lecture, we learned that to this subscribe method, we can pass three callback functions. The first callback function will handle the value which the next method returns. Basically, when we are calling this next method, it is going to emit some value. To handle that value, we can use the next callback function. And when we want to handle an error, in that case, 
we need to pass a second callback function to handle the error. We call that callback function error callback function. So here after this first callback function, let's go ahead and let's also specify a second callback function. And this second callback function is the event handler function for error event. So when this observable is going to call this error method, this error method is going to emit an event called error. And this second callback function, it can be used to handle that error event. Okay. Now this callback function, the second callback function, it is going to receive the error object, which the observable is returning. So let's simply call it as ERR. And now we can do something with this error object. So let's say all we want to do is we want to show an alert message to the user with the error message. So for that, we can say ERR dot message because this ERR, it is going to store an error object, this error object. And in that error object, we have a property called message, which stores the actual error message. In this case, the error message will be something went wrong. Please try again later. So we want to show this error message to the user using the alert window. If we save the changes, if we go to the web page, and when I click on this get data button, you will see one is logged, two is there, three is there. And after that, we have this error message. Something went wrong. Please try again later. Okay. When I click on this OK button, after that, we are not seeing the data four and five, because as we learned, once the observable has returned an error, after that, if we are emitting any data, that data will not get emitted. Now here you will notice that when I hover over this subscribe method, we can see this deprecated warning. That's because in the latest versions of RxJS, we cannot pass a callback function like this. And I'll show you how we can do that in a bit. But before that, from the observable, just like we can emit some data using the next method, we can emit an error using the error method. In the same way, we can also emit a complete signal, which tells that the observable has emitted all the data from the data stream. So for example, if I comment this line where we are emitting an error, this observable, it is going to emit these five data. So it is going to emit one. After two seconds, it is going to emit two. After three seconds, it is going to emit three. After four seconds, it is going to emit four. And after five seconds, it is going to emit five. And once all these data are emitted, we can also send a complete signal from this observable. So let me again copy this line and let's paste it here. And after all these five data are emitted, we also want to emit a complete signal from this observable. For that, we can use complete method. Okay, and this complete method does not take any argument. And this complete method simply tells that all the data from the data stream has been successfully emitted. So it simply signals the completion of all the data in the data stream. Here, let's also change the time interval to six milliseconds. Now, when the complete signal has been emitted, if we want, we can execute some logic after the complete signal has been emitted from the observable. For that, to this subscribe method, we can also pass a third callback function. So let's pass a third callback function. This callback function, it is not going to receive any argument. And in here, we can execute some logic. So whenever the complete signal will be emitted, this third callback function will be called and executed. So if you want to execute some logic, once this complete signal has been emitted, we can write that logic inside this callback function. So here also I'll simply show an alert message to the user saying that all the data is streamed. Okay. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page and let me click on this get data button. So one is emitted, two is emitted, three is emitted, four is emitted, five is emitted. And after that, you will see this alert window where it says all the data is streamed. So after six seconds, this complete function will be called and it will emit a complete signal. And when this complete signal will be emitted, this observer, this subscriber will be notified about that. And it is going to execute this third callback function. I hope it is clear. Now. One more important thing to keep in mind is that once the complete signal is emitted by the observable, after that, 
if we have any data to be emitted that will not get emitted for example if i change this time interval here to three seconds then this observable it is going to emit this value one after one second this value two after two seconds this value three after three seconds and it is also going to emit a complete signal after three seconds so after the complete signal has been emitted after that we also want to emit this data 4 after 4 seconds and this data 5 after 5 seconds. But since the complete signal has been emitted, these two data will not get emitted. Keep in mind that the complete signal basically notifies that all the data in the data stream has been emitted. And once that notification has been sent, we cannot emit any more data. Okay, so after 3 seconds, this complete method, it will emit a complete signal. And once the complete signal is emitted, after 4 seconds, we want to emit this data 4 and after 5 seconds, we want to emit this data 5. But these two data will not get emitted because the complete signal has already been emitted by the observable. So after the complete signal has been emitted, we cannot emit any more data from the observable. Let's see that. Let's save the changes. Let's go back to the web page. Let me move this console a little, little bit down and let's click on this get data button. So after one second, we have one. After two seconds, we have two. After three seconds, we have three. And after three seconds, the complete signal has also been emitted. And that's why we are seeing this message. All the data is streamed. So after this, no more data will be emitted. And finally, let's say there is also an error which we are emitting from the observable. Okay. So this error will be emitted after three seconds. As you can see and after three seconds we are also calling this complete method so this complete method should emit a complete event right but that is not going to happen once the error has occurred the observable cannot emit any other data or complete signal okay so once a new error object has been emitted from this observable after that no data that means this 4 and 5 will not get emitted from this observable and also the complete signal will also not get emitted from this observable let's see that let's save the changes let's go to the web page and when i click on this get data button you will see one is emitted two is emitted three is emitted and after that we have an error that's why we are seeing this message something went wrong please try again later if i click on this ok button after that we are not seeing the other alert window which says all the data is streamed that's because this complete signal was never emitted because an error occurred so this complete signal was never emitted and because this complete signal was never emitted this callback function was never called and that's why we did not saw any alert window with this message all the data is streamed i hope you got the point all right so let's recap what we have learned so far so from an observable when we want to emit some data we use next method when we want to emit some error, we use error method. And when we want to emit a complete signal, we use the complete method. Now, each of these methods are going to emit an event. So this next method, it is going to emit a next event. This error method, it is going to emit an error event. And this complete method, it is going to emit a complete event. And since we have subscribed to this observable at this line, whenever any of those events will happen, this line of code will be notified about that. And then we can pass the next callback function to handle the next event. We can pass the error callback function as the second argument to the subscribe method to handle the error event. And we can pass a complete callback function as the third argument to the subscribe method to handle the complete event. All right, now, as I mentioned, the way which we are passing these callback functions to the subscribe method, it is deprecated. So let me show you the latest way how we can pass a callback function to this subscribe method. For that, let me go ahead and let me comment this line. And again, first we need to subscribe to the observable. So for that, we can say this dot my observable dot subscribe. Now to this subscribe method, first we need to pass an object like this. And in that object, we need to specify the function name. So the function name is next. So this is the first function and this function it is going to receive a value let's set its type as any and inside this next function we want to write this logic so here what we are doing is we are simply providing a name for the callback function okay then 
to specify the second callback function, the error callback function, let's use a comma here and then the function name will be error. This function is going to receive an error object, let's call it ERR and inside this function we want to write this logic. So let me copy it from here, let me paste it here and finally if you want to pass the third callback function, the name of the third callback function is complete. And this function, it is not going to receive any parameter. And inside this complete function, we want to write this logic. Now here we have this error because in this function, this keyword here, it is pointing to an instance of this object. Okay, so this keyword here, it is not pointing to an instance of app component. It is pointing to an instance of this object and in this object we don't have any property called data that's why we have this error so here we can make use of arrow function syntax because when we make use of arrow function syntax arrow function does not get its own this keyword but it uses the this keyword of its outer scope so in this example if i use arrow function here here this keyword will point to the this keyword of outer scope so in this case this keyword will point to an instance of app component and you see now that error is gone so now if i save the changes and if you go to the web page let's see if it still works so when i click on this get data we have this value one two three and after that we have this error message and since we have the error message the rest of the data will not be emitted and the complete signal will also not get emitted but if i go ahead and if i comment this line where we are emitting an error and now if I save the changes if you go to the web page and now when I click on this get data button it has emitted one two three and after that we have this completion signal because this complete signal will be emitted just after three seconds right so since this complete signal has been emitted this data four and five will not get emitted but if I change it back to six seconds so before six seconds all these data will be emitted and it will be displayed in the web page let's go to the web page let's click on this get data again so one is emitted two is emitted three is emitted four is emitted and five is emitted and after that the complete signal has been emitted and since the complete signal has been emitted it is showing us this alert message all the data is streamed so i hope now you understand how we can create an observable and what is the use of next method, error method and complete method.